Hi everyone, Rachel again from the Marks Group Live and I'm here today with another training video, this time all about Zoho Mail. We always get asked questions about what is the difference between Zoho Mail and some other more popular mail platforms like Gmail. So today I wanted to go over all that this application has to offer, how you can integrate it, and how you can really use it for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to support at marksgrouplive.com. Enjoy. So today I'm going to show you how to set up your Zoho Mail platform. So once you sign in to Zoho Mail for the very first time, you'll have two options. You can add an existing domain for email hosting um, or create a domain-based address. So let's say... You know, my email is rachel at marksgrouplive.com. I could have Zoho Mail be my main platform for where I receive my emails instead of Gmail where it is right now. Or I can create an account, you know, whatever my username is at zoho.com. I'm going to do that today, but again, the option is there. You can actually get your email forwarded and use Zoho Mail as, as your main platform, even if you don't want a Zoho email. So I'll call this uh, Rachel Sosha one at zohomail.com. Or why don't I actually do TMG live at zoho.com. Go ahead and create an account. It's loading. Give it a second. And then here we are at my Zoho mail. Um, so because this is the first time I'm making this account, what's going to happen, what you're seeing here is Zoho is walking me through all of my settings. I can, you know, put my actual local settings, what my time zone wants to be. I'm Eastern. Um, this is just a nice way to um, set up all of the things you might need. It'll set you through your signature. Um Set you through what color themes you want. Maybe I want this yellow and uh, gray. And then takes me to access my Zoho mail. So I'm just, while this loading, I just want to walk you through the, um, oh, it sent me right back there again. I'll skip this time. I just want to walk you through some of the features that Zoho mail has to offer. So obviously the first thing is new mail. If you're sending out an email, you click there and, and this will take you to, um, whatever your platform is. You can um, decide who you want to send it to. CC, subject, obviously write your body of your email. Your drafts folder. Your templates folder. Now this is the place that you can create any email templates if you have forms coming out. Um, we talk a lot about creating templates in Zoho Writer. Um, in our other videos, in our CRM videos, so please feel free to check them out. Um, your sent mail, your spam, trash, outbox, uh, newsletter, which will allow you to create uh, newsletters, um, any notifications you have. And then just like you can throughout the Zoho platform, you can tag your email. So if you tag as a notification, it'll it'll click in the notification or the newsletter. This is kind of like starred mail in Gmail if you use that. I don't have much to tag right now because um, I just have this welcome. But I can, I'll just maybe tag it as a notification. And then when I click on notifications, it shows up there. It's just a nice way to organize yourself. Obviously, you can view the things you have unread, all messages, anything you flag is important. It's there. So like the mail, if you click down, here's your calendar. Um, you can absolutely sync this calendar with other parts of the Zoho um, One platform, like your CRM or Zoho calendar. A quick tasks that you like to do. And you might need to do notes, contacts, and bookmarks. These are contacts that are already uploaded because these are people that we work with through our Zoho mail. Bookmarks are for any important URLs that you might need. This might be a place that, um, you know, if you're accessing a website a lot or sending out a website, maybe your own company website, you can um, 
bookmark it here or if you want a quick link to um, information about your sales page certainly you can do that now over here on the side here are your settings um, up top with this little uh, wheel um, here are just some of your basic settings the personal information activity history active sessions any security stuff that you all find it here um, you can change your font and all of that you can change the look of your Zoho mail. This isn't necessarily the way it looks going out, but the way it looks on your screen. You can change that. Up here also is where you change your languages, as you can see. Let's head back to the main settings page. Any keyboard shortcuts that you want to create that aren't already there. your view mail options, you can sort your tags manually, how you want them to look alphabetically, do you want your time in 12 or 24 out, um, hours, if you want someone to see that you've read receipt, you know, you can ask if they want, you know, if you want that or ask if you want to load images um, instead of doing it automatically. You know, this is just the way that your whole mail will be set up. You can add new signatures. This is where you'll do your out of office re uh, replies. Um, a lot of the stuff that are important are, are held here at settings. Your POP3 account, your IMAP access, email forwarding. This is if you use other accounts and you want your Zoho account to be your main account where all of your mail comes in. Or also if you want to use a Zoho mail but maybe want to funnel it all through your Gmail, you do that all here in the mail accounts. Some other calendar preferences, any groups you might be in, choosing how you want to import information. Um, this is all here. The next is the attachment viewer. So this will just show you any attachments that you have in your email. You can see them all, um, all here. It's a nice little, um, nice little tool that they have. Also up here, I just want to note. You can search. There's a search bar, um, and that makes it very easy if you're looking for anything specifically in your emails. This question, this is just the what's new. This will help you take a tour. If you're, if you're looking through and you're looking for something specific, this is where you come to just find some help. Up here is adding a sticky note. This is a nice thing that Zoho does throughout most of their programs. It's a little, um, you know, you can set a reminder for yourself without doing a task, and you can kind of just keep it up in your uh, in your window. You can also just get rid of it, too. It'll go away. This will turn into day or night mode, depending on uh, your eyes and how you want to look at the screen. I prefer keeping my light all the time. I know blue light can be bad for you, but that's just how I like to do it. This is a toggle e-widget and allows you to toggle between uh, multiple different uh, places and tools that you might, you know, want cut, copy, paste, all of that. Um, that's just a new widget that's available to you. And then now we're here to send feedback. So if you have questions, comments, concerns you want, you can go ahead and write to Zoho directly. So that is your Zoho mail basic overview. Um, there's a lot this program can do. We talk about it in and out most of our videos where um, Zoho mail comes up. Um, but it's it's a really great platform to help you organize your, your information. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're working on the Zoho One platform, it's a great place for you to, to send your email. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope this was some helpful information to you. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, again, as I said, reach out to support at marksgrouplive.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our videos on our YouTube channel where we will give you all of the latest training on Zoho One and all of the Zoho products. Thanks and have a great day.